First, though, it is time, of course, for the best news we heard this week. It's our little moment in the show to remind the listeners and ourselves, frankly, that it's good news happening out there in the world each week. Elena, what is the best news you heard this week? Oh, man, this story has everything. Birds, okay. old stuff. Pittsburgh. Those are like my three favorite yeah, things. Really, right. really. That's the Venn time. diagram overlap of it's true. all the things you care about. Really, all it needs is yakety sex. Unfortunately, that is not a part of this hmm. of, of this one. <laughs> I forgot there's a fourth ring in the yeah. in the diagram. <laughs> the quinta essentia for me is yakety sex. Um, okay, so the they just discovered a very rare, uh, kind of unprecedented fossil. It's a fossil of a land-bound dinosaur uh, who is known as an oviraptorosaur. Okay. And they discovered it in China, and the fossilized remains, it was sitting on a bunch of eggs. So that's going to give a whole bunch of new information about the embryonic life of this specific type of dinosaur. And we know now um, that this kind of dinosaur was covered in feathers. So now we know that it nests in a very specific way on eggs like a bird versus like a reptile. Um, and there's this great picture of it uh, in the CNN article about the discovery. And they look like these like crazy Jar Jar Binks quails with these feathers and these crazy tails. Look so totally nothing like the dinosaurs that I thought about when I was obsessed with dinosaurs as a kid. If I think about the fact that birds are dinosaurs for too long, it kind of freaks me out. Oh, I love it. I mean, I just think I, I love that I got to live to see the change where people started kind of painting dinosaurs the ways that we now understand that they would look like because they had this kind of body covering. And the Pittsburgh connection is that um, the research was done in congruence with the Carnegie Museum of Natural History, which was on like the block that I lived in in the Oakland neighborhood of Pittsburgh. It's really close to Pitt. And if you go to Pitt, you can get into those museums for free. So I used to live in that natural history museum, which has a gigantic dinosaur named Dippy huh. out front that they put like a terrible towel around when the Steelers are in the playoffs. Of course they do. Even yeah. the scientists in Pittsburgh <laughs> oh, yeah, are no. subject to, uh, you know, the coming and Even the goings dinosaurs of... love a Pittsburgh Steelers, Luke, <laughs> Luke Burbank. So it's real good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is a, that's a solid Yinzer accent that you, yeah, thanks, uh, that you, you know, broke out. I try. Not um, bad. <laughs> um, well, I know we've got some listeners in Pittsburgh. I don't know how many listeners in Canada we have, Elena, but the best mm. news that I heard this week comes straight from Canada. People up there are starting to send postcards to each other that were mailed to them by the Canadian Post Office. The Canadian Post Office sent out 13.5 million pre post, 13.5 million postcards with the postage prepaid on them. Oh. So that people in Canada can fill out a postcard to the ones they love and send them around. It's a way of keeping Canadians oh. connected during the pandemic. That's amazing. Every time I hear something about Canadians, I, I'm always like, oh, I've been watching a lot of Canadian TV. It's been like Slings and Arrows and Letterkenny and Kim's Convenience. And now this, I, I love know. postcards. I know. When's the last time you wrote a postcard? Oh, I write them quite a bit. Uh, really? Because I'm a cheapskate and the stamps are cheaper. So why write a thank you note that you have to put in an envelope with one of those forever stamps when you can get a postcard stamp for much cheaper? I, I got to start writing more postcards. I know that when I, on the uh, rare occasion when I get one, it just like, it just makes my whole day brighter. It's like such a very simple, easy thing to do that people like me are not doing enough. I think this is a cool idea. I'm very glad. Yeah. And maybe, sorry, I was about to say something super political. That's why I stopped myself. <laughs> so like, you know, that's what happens. We don't try to destroy your national postal service. Oh, uh, there you go. A little to the it's, side it's of It's a joy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's such a simple thing, right? It takes like two minutes to fill out a postcard, but it really brightens someone's day. Just like it'll brighten my day, Elena, when I get one of these famous postcards from you. I'll send you send, one. You're sending it all the time that I with a I've dinosaur hit. on it. I have them. Really? Yeah, you want one? I'll send you a dinosaur postcard with an August Wilson stamp. Please, double Pittsburgh. Please do. Then we can report back when I get it. See now that that's now the best news that I've heard all week that you're sending me this postcard. <laughs> 